touch, don't touch. It's fake. Don't touch, don't touch. It's bad. Don't touch, don't touch. It hurts. Don't touch, don't touch. It destroys. Don't touch, don't touch. It kills. Don't touch, don't touch. It's fake. Don't touch, don't touch. It's bad. Don't touch, don't touch. It hurts. Don't touch, don't touch. It destroys. Don't touch, don't touch. It kills. You should know. We remain undaunted and resilient in our war against substandard products and will make the nation unbearable for dealers and importers of bad products into Nigeria. Director General of the Standards Organization of Nigeria, Malam Farouk Selim, declares as we focus on the impact of these goods on the economy. A warm welcome to Standard and You, your guide to product quality and safety. My name is Halimot Osifo. I'll be back after this short message. Don't touch, don't touch. It's fake. Don't touch, don't touch. It's bad. Don't touch, don't touch. It hurts. Don't touch, don't touch. It destroys. Don't touch, don't touch. It kills. These are substandard products. They are dangerous to human lives and have negative effects on the nation's economy. We work around the clock in search of these products and wherever we find them, we destroy them. We are committed to the war against substandard and fake products. We are the Standards Organization of Nigeria. Join us on Standard and You, your guide to product quality and safety. In case you've just joined us, you are watching Standard and You, Nigeria's foremost public enlightenment program on product quality and safety. The Standards Organization of Nigeria is among other responsibilities saddled with the task of promoting and enforcing standards in the country. The agency by law can identify, seize and destroy if need be. Any products whether imported or produced locally, it establishes to be substandard. However, this function by the SON has not been without some resistance from some unscrupulous dealers and importers. In fact, in some cases, the officials of the SON are physically assaulted. In this report, we shall take a look at the implications of this ugly trend on our economy and the war against substandard products in Nigeria. Please take a listen. It's damaging the image of the country, so I think people should desist from that. I look out for something good to buy. At the end of the day, when you buy, you go, you go home to uh, make use of it or something, you find out it's um, fake. It's actually fake. It's actually painful. I remember when I would first come to Lagos. So by the time I worked for six months after my secondary school, I was going home. I went to Oshodi. I buy parking par chart, parking one, quality one, with good trousers. But now you see people because there is property. You can't avoid the price of that quality one. You go for Katanga. They cause a lot of injury to so many people. Why a lot of people waste money on something unnecessary? When you buy a fake product for us, you, you feel it's actually cheap. But at the longer run, you spend more. And it might actually even be harmful to your what to your other equipment in your house. You understand? That's for electronics. For other consumption. It's not good. Items we have been getting now is addicted and it already expired. I think people, the agency that are in charge for this, they should try as much as to make sure that the goods are well registered and the expiring date is already on it so that if there is any goods that is not supposed to be used that have already been expired, at least it should be out of stock so that people don't buy and take uh, things that are not meant for human beings to be eating and causing uh, diseases and other sicknesses for fellow Nigerians. When there's fake products in the, in the circulation, what it implies that it even affects the economy. From their responses, they are worried by the prevalence of substandard products in Nigeria. Of course, no one wants a product that he or she cannot derive value from, especially in these difficult times. Consumers like their counterparts all over the world want these bad products not just taken away from the shelves in the markets, but prevented from entering the country. This is a task that the Standards Organization of Nigeria has performed and is still carrying out through the years. It's been an onerous task 
one that has cost the SOM a lot of human and material resources, as explained by the agency's chief executive officer, Malam Farouk Salim. We have achieved some successes with uh, the market associations where sometimes they assist us in identifying the bad eggs among them and uh, they assist us in having access to the market because sometimes when you try to do enforcement it's like a riot situation where the, the, the marketers don't want you to come in I and mean, even with the amount of police you take it's difficult for us to be able to do our jobs. So in a nutshell um, it's a very difficult job to find yourself but uh, it's a job we voluntarily take upon ourselves because it's uh, part of our civic responsibility to protect our people physically and to protect our local industries. Our local industries being protected goes a long way to keeping us safe from insecurities, safe from unemployment, safe from uh, substandard goods because majority of the goods manufactured in this country are very up to standard and uh, they are competitive. But the problem with substandard goods is they come into the country, they are cheap, and they destroy our economy. Understanding the source or sources of these substandard products is important to give you, the average Nigerian, a better picture of the enormity of the war against substandard products. Investigations by Standard & You reveal that the bulk of these bad products, if not all, pass through our ports. Others are smuggled into the country from other unauthorized sources. The crux of some of these substandard products is militating against the objective of government about industrialization. It's deindustrializing the country. It's deindustrializing the economy. I mean, look at what is happening to some of our industries. Some of their premises have been converted into, into worship centers. Some of them have been converted into event centers. Some of them have been converted to supermarkets. Some of them have been converted into warehouses for imported their finished goods coming from Asia. That is not the way to grow an economy. And part of the reason for the collapse of some of these industries is the influx of some of these fake and substandard products. Because again, we are faced, unfortunately, with a country with so much poverty. People are looking for very cheap things to buy. And some of these unscrupulous people capitalize on that to deliberately bring in products that are, that are substandard, sometimes that are even injurious to health, sometimes that could endanger the lives of people. So it has a very serious implication for our industrialization. It has very serious implications even for the health and welfare of the people. It has serious implications even for the brand our brand as a country. Because some of these fake products sometimes get outside the country to neighboring countries and they say, where are they from? They say the products are from Nigeria. You know? It's not good for our reputation as a country. We have had instances uh, sometimes in the past when our products were completely rejected officially in some countries in West Africa. Because they say most of those things were fake and substandard. And these were not products that were produced by legitimate institutions that are in production. They are products coming from some of these characters that are producing things that are substandard, things that are not regulated. Some of these products are smuggled into the country. They are given wrong labels of some big brands within the country. And they ended up destroying the reputation of our country and even the brand of those companies. It's a difficult task given the volume of imports into the country on a daily basis from around the world. Officials of the SON have over the years come under heavy physical attacks by those behind the importation and distribution of substandard products in Nigeria. These attackers often will stop at nothing to resist arrest or have their bad products seized even when they know the danger these products pose to consumers. There are hundreds of such incidents where fakers and merchants of substandard products fight back. Well, it's very surprising that an individual can organize to attack a government agency. 
that's what we are talking about security how do we protect our agency that's another thing if you don't protect agency of course how do you want them to perform in a situation whereby a cabal can quickly organize some guys and deal with them so next time nobody would like to risk his life for such an assignment it's not good it's not because the standard they are protecting the citizens of Nigeria. That's why they are carrying their own legal duty. They are carrying their own legal duty and the other all those the marketers, they are fighting back now. The, the, the federal media to regulate, they have to give them the power. They have to back to give them the back up to fight the, the marketers. They should be queried, they should be called to order, they should be corrected. Because even the uh, the the Bible has made us to understand that we should reprove, correct the ills of people. Somebody who is doing evil, they, we should correct them so that it will checkmate their activities. People are looking for money. They don't want to do things in the right procedure. So, and it will affect them later in the future. So anything we are doing today, we should be expecting the reward. It should have been tackled at the point of entrance, not until it gets to our market. Because these people to pay money to get it. So if it's a standard, SUN should have tackled it at the point of entry. I think it's not a good thing that they were attacked. That is when it's attacked, but I think SUN should have done that at the point of entry before it gets to our market. What happened at the popular Apo auto parts market in Abuja was a classical example of the reckless behavior of these unscrupulous dealers and importers. Don't tell me to keep quiet. You keep quiet? Maybe in the past they get away with it, but I assure you, this time around, I'm a law-abiding citizen of Nigeria. If somebody comes to my house and show me a badge and say they are from a lawful agency and they are here to do their job, I will do that. If I have a problem, I call my lawyer and then I take the person to court. Nigeria is a lawful country. It's not a lawless country. So basically, this trend will stop. I promise you that because our employees will be protected. They are people's children. They have been to university. They are doing their job for their country. They are not foreigners. They are not aliens. In, in Son, we have all sorts of people. We have all ethnic groups, all religions in Son. So they are Nigerians, they are doing their job, and we will not accept any intimidation from anybody against our work. If you have a complaint about a Son employee or about the manner Son employees are behaving, you can formally report to the DG's office in Abuja, number 52 Lome Crescent, Zone 7, we say, or you can go to court and sue us. Then the court will send us documentation. We'll go to court and defend ourselves. We have direct, we have directorate of legal in Son, and their job is not only to prosecute but to defend our rightful actions in the country. Working with relevant security agencies, officials of the agency have demonstrated courage and commitment to quality risking it all to protect consumers from these bad individuals and their products. For us to have a society that is sane, where there is order and sanity, we need to restore the authority and respect of our state institutions. Because if state institutions are not respected, that is a call to anarchy. So we must, whatever it takes, we must ensure that state institutions are respected, regulatory agencies are respected, enforcement framework and mechanisms are also effective. So to, we need to reinforce the capacity of state agencies to be able to carry out their function, particularly when it comes to issues of enforcement. Because we cannot allow this society to degenerate the way it is degenerating. We are those who are criminals are getting bolder by the day. Where there is little fear for state authorities. Because the beauty of a society is for people to have some fear of security agencies. For them to have the feeling that there are consequences for actions. But if that mindset is changing, 
and we are slipping into a realm of impunity. It is not good for the entire society. So our regulatory agencies need to be fully supported. Despite these challenges, the SON has left no one in doubt in its determination to clean the markets and ensure that Nigerians get and enjoy only the best. From my experience, some Nigerian businessmen are in business to make gain, not in the right form, but with wrong procedure, meaning they are ready to do anything to get their money. I'll give you an example. Somebody go to China and import cables that instead of having copper, you're having real iron that can magnetize inside the insulator. Consciously, he did that. He did not do it unconsciously. Because from experience, that has, it has been proven over time that it was done consciously by these business people. The job given to Sun is not given to us by the government. It was given to us by the National Assembly through the 2015 Act. So this is law. This is a mandate that was given to us. And we are going to make sure we don't back down from our mandate. And we are getting support from all agencies. I have, have, have discussion for all heads of different agencies in the country, enforcement, and we are working on a plan together with them to make sure that this kind of thing does not happen again. Anybody who wants to follow the rules, even if they break the rules, as long as they are peaceful, we will help them to get their products accepted if it is possible. But if it is not possible, we'll explain to you why your products are not acceptable and we'll confiscate them and destroy them. This is what the law says. My responsibility is to help both traders and ordinary citizens in this country to do their job. And if this is impeded, I know from the president down in this country, they will support me and they will, the agencies will support me in doing my job. The day I can't do my responsibility, that will be the day I leave this job. It's a disgrace that federal government vehicles labeled as such, because all our vehicles have our names on it. They are labeled with standard organization uh, labels on the buses, the helixes, but they destroyed them. Once you are attacking a federal government property, you should just know the consequences of it. We are not going to accept lawlessness. It's not acceptable. What is therefore needed to win this battle is the cooperation of all, adequate funds and appropriate laws to deal with offenders. The Standards Organization of Nigeria, SON, brings a new lease of life to Nigeria SMEs. SON has put a greater premium on developing standards to improve made in Nigeria products for export. We have developed more standards for products like Sesame, Coco, Gary, and more, courtesy of our accredited state-of-the-art laboratories. In keeping with the federal government's ease of doing business, SON has simplified its processes and turned around time for SONCAP, MANCAP, and other certification processes. SON has intensified mass market surveillance, raids, and seizures to reduce substandard products in circulation, and offenders shall be prosecuted. Join SON in reading our nation of substandard products. If you see something, say something. Standards Organization of Nigeria, improving lives through standards. It's Welcome back. Every day, Nigerians buy and use thousands of products at home, work, and on the go. Consumers expect that these goods will satisfy their needs. But did you know, consumer satisfaction and protection is a collective responsibility. It demands inputs from not just the manufacturer, importer and government, but also you, the consumer. Producing safe and quality products is one of the manufacturer's responsibility to consumers. The importer has a responsibility to ensure foreign products conform with standards. For the Standards Organization of Nigeria, our primary responsibility is to ensure that locally manufactured products in Nigeria give the required satisfaction to consumers through compliance with standards and ensure goods imported into the country meet the minimum requirements of Nigerian industrial standards. What about you, the consumer? Do you know your rights? Do you verify expiry dates before purchasing? Do you read contents of goods warranty card? 
Do you check for product certification marks? Do you read and follow safety instructions? Do you use products appropriately? Do you speak up by reporting cases of fake and substandard products to the SON? If your answers to these questions are positive, good for you. Otherwise, you are neglecting your consumer responsibility. No doubt, all hands must be on deck to fight against fake and substandard products in Nigeria. You have a role to play. Wow, Chief Mike, how are you? Fine. I'm going to Sun office for the certification of my wheat flour. Oh no, things have changed. Sun has simplified all its activities. You could have even stayed back in Canon and process all your papers online. Whoa. With the efforts of Sun, the products of SMEs can now compete globally. Sun has put in place necessary machineries in support of the growth of SMEs. At highly subsidized charges, SMEs can now get their certification, laboratory testing of their products, as well as purchase of standards. Meanwhile, Sun is carrying out massive seizure of substandard goods in the market and have gotten legal backing to prosecute offenders, all to protect consumers and SMEs. Sun, improving life through standards. It's an essential part of a wiring system used at home or in the office. Wall sockets connect electrical equipment to the alternating current supply. When you have a wall socket with only one outlet and need to connect about four different devices at a time, then we make use of an extension socket, which has multiple sockets connected with a cord and plug attached to it. I'm glad to tell you I'll be sharing five style tips on extension sockets. <music> Buy extension sockets which has been certified by the Standards Organization of Nigeria from reputable stores. Check the current rating of the extension lead before plugging appliances into it. Do not overload your socket with higher current appliances to avoid overheating. Use only one extension lead per socket and never plug an extension lead into another extension lead. Install more wall sockets if needed. Regularly check for danger signs like smell of hot plastic, melting sockets or appliances, spark smack, damaged leads amongst others. There you have it, 5 standard tips on extension sockets. And that's a wrap on this week's episode of your favorite public sensitization program Standard and You. Do you have a question, complaint, or suggestion? You can send in your messages with your phone name and location to the number 0705-972-4455. Catch up with missed episodes online at youtube.com forward slash standard and you. Don't just view. Hit the subscribe button. It's free. As always, buy original, sell authentic, and use only the best. Enjoy the rest of the week. Why you dey buy it? Yeah? Fake product, yeah. Make you dey careful, no go damage your life. You've got one life to live. Buy original. You should know.